everyone! In today's video, we're going to introduce a joystick module to the Raspberry Pi, and we're also going to be making a Pong game using that joystick module. So let's check it out! So in today's video, first I'll introduce what the Raspberry Pi joystick module is, including the features of it, what it is, and some programs you can do with it. And then we'll just get straight into the demo, in which first we'll check out the circuits of the joystick and how to connect it to the Raspberry Pi, and then we'll check out some cool programs and use cases for the joystick. So first, what is it? A joystick is an input device, which means you can move it around and you can control the data that it sends to the Raspberry Pi, and it consists and it consists of a stick that pivots on a base, and you can see the base right here, and this is the stick. And this, by the way, this is a PS2 joystick. This is the same design as a PS2 joystick. And this joystick will report its angle and direction. So your finger can move this stick up, down, left, right, and it even has a button on it, so you can press it also. And then it'll report the angle and direction to the Raspberry Pi, or in this case, to our Python program. And you can control the movement. And you can control the movement, like I said before, because it's an input device. So you can do all kinds of programs with it. So next, let's check out some programs that you can do, including today's program that we're going to do in the demo. So the first program we're going to do in our in today's demo is called print. So we're going to have a print statement, and the joystick is going to be controlled by our finger. And the print statement will be, it'll print whatever direction the joystick is. So if your finger moved the joystick up, then it'll print up. If it moved it down, then it'll print down, like that. So whatever, whatever angle or direction you move it, then it'll print that. The next program is a Pong game, and we're also going to be doing it in today's demo. So it'll be just like a regular Python-based Pong game, single player, by the way. And although you could do multiplayer, but we're just going to do a single player one. And we have our joystick module connected to the Raspberry Pi, but this time, the joystick will be controlling the paddle. So if you move the joystick left, then the paddle will move left. So you can play the Pong game with the joystick, and it's Python-based, obviously. And the final program you can do, we're not going to do it in today's demo, but I might be doing it in a future demo. So we'll have our joystick module connected to the Raspberry Pi, and then we'll have a Python program using the Pi game module to make a game, and there will be a character on the screen. You can make any type of game with this. There's endless possibilities with this kind of thing. So there will be a character on the screen, and the joystick will control the character. So if you move the joystick up, then the character will move up, and then left, right, down, and you can do lots of different movements, action, and you can even do animations. The possibilities are endless with the joystick. And yeah, now that you know all about the joystick, let's get straight into the demo. So the first thing I'll want to do is remote into my Raspberry Pi using VNC Viewer. So I'll just open up VNC right here. And this is my VNC connection to the Raspberry Pi. And before you can remote into your Raspberry Pi, if, you're, if this is the first time for you, you'll have to set up VNC. And I might make a future video on that, so you can check it out. And there we go, we remoted into our VNC Viewer. But before we create a program, let's first check out the circuits. All right guys, so we have our circuit here, and it doesn't really look like a Raspberry Pi circuit, but first of all, here we have our joystick. I just connected it to some cardboard just so that it looks like a regular joystick. And here we have the wires, and it's connecting to a shoebox here, but inside the shoebox we have our Raspberry Pi, and then that's connected to an outlet, obviously. And the Raspberry Pi is connected to our breadboard here, and the breadboard is connected back to the joystick and it's also connected to the PCF8591 or the ADDA converter. And yeah, that's all for the circuits. And if you want a more in-depth picture on how to do the circuits, I'll leave a link in the description below that's provided by the manufacturers. All right, so the next thing we want to do is actually start writing our program. So I already have this Python program here called printjoystick.py and that's just gonna be our print program. And the first thing we have to do is import our modules. So just as a recap, this print program, what it's going to do is 
it's going to get the angle of the joystick and then it's going to print that on the screen. So the first module we want to import is time. And time is a module that has a bunch of functions, but it's mainly used for its time.sleep function. So we're going to import time just so that we can use the time.sleep function. And we also want to import another module for the joystick. And since the joystick doesn't have a module of its own, we're using the PCF8591. And we're also connecting that to the Raspberry Pi. And the PCF8591, otherwise known as the ADDA converter, will get the angle and it'll report it to our Python program or the Raspberry Pi. So let's import that. So PCF8591. And a common name for that is ADC in Python. So we're going to import it as ADC so that we don't have to keep on saying PCF8591 every time we mention it. And yeah, that's all for the imports. The next thing we want to do is the setup. So here I'm going to paste in this uh, function. And what this code does is we have our direction function here, and this will just get the direction of the joystick at what direction it's pointed at. So we're initializing this state variable, which is an array. And inside the array, we have up, home, down, left, pressed, and right, which is all the directions that it can possibly go in string format. And then we're initializing this i variable. And what these all these if commands are doing, it's saying if the joystick is pointed up, down, left, right, or if it's pressed. So in this case, it's saying if it's less than or equal to 30 degrees, then it would be up. And then if it's less, greater than or equal to 225 degrees, like that. So it's measuring the angle, it's measuring the angle and direction of our joystick. And then finally, if it is up, down, left, right, or button press, depending on what it is, it's changing the i variable to 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So we can use this i variable to index this state array. So like if i is 1, then it would be up. If i is 2, then it would be down, like that. So next, and before we do this direction function, I'm going to also make another function called setup. So let's define setup. And this will just calibrate and set up the PCF8591. So let's do that and here. And inside of the setup function, we're going to actually set up the PCF8591. So I'm just going to copy paste in this code. So adc.setup, that's just going to set up the PCF8591 and then global state. So now that we've set up the PCF8591 and we got the direction of our uh, joystick, then now we want to actually print that on the screen. So here's inside of the inside of our direction function, I have to add one last thing. Return state with the state with the index of i. And then that's just getting the whatever direction our joystick is in in string format. And then that's all for the direction variable, direction function, sorry. But the next thing we want to do is actually print it on the screen. So I'm going to make another function. So outside of this function, I'm going to make another function called loop. But you can call it whatever you want. Okay, so loop. And then inside of loop, we're going to initialize a variable called status. And then we'll just have, we're, we're just initializing it, so it'll just be in double quotes, it won't have any text. We're initializing it as a string, by the way. And then we're going to have a while loop. So while true, just so that we can loop through the time that's running, the time that's passing while the program is running, just so that we can keep on getting the joysticks inputs. So inside of the while loop, we're going to make a variable called TMP. And TMP will be the actual variable that has the directions. And this TMP will not only get the direction, but it'll get the string form of direction. That's so, to get the string form, we need to call the function that we just created. So direction function here. So TMP will be the string form of whatever direction the joystick is pointed at. And that's why we're calling this function that we created up here. Okay, there we go. And then the next thing we want to do is print it. But before we do that, we want to see if nothing is happening. When the program is running, if nothing is happening, if the user isn't even touching it, then it shouldn't print anything. 
So I'm going to make an if command saying if TMP is not equal to none. So if it is not equal to none, so that means if something is happening and the TMP is not equal to status, status is nothing right here, so it's it just automatically says yes, it is not equal to status because it has to have some value. Oh no, not statues, status. So that means if the user is pressing, if the user is using the joystick, then it should print out the TMP. So print TMP. And then after that, we're going to change the status variable to TMP also so that it can keep uh, looping through that. So status, there we go. There we go. Or no, no, status should be equal to TMP. There we go. The last thing we want to do is actually run this loop function so that it can actually do it. So I'm just going to paste in this code which actually runs the function and all. So first we're creating a function called destroy which will just destroy all the windows that it created. And then we're having an if name equals main which means that the code starts from there. It's going to call our setup variable which will set up the PCF8591. And then it's going to try our loop function which actually prints it out. And then we have our keyboard interrupt and stuff. And there we go. We have a successful program that will now print whatever direction our joystick is pointing to. So let's test it out. So I'm just going to, first of all, I'm just going to say python3 print dot print joystick dot pi or whatever your file name is called. Almost plus enter. Okay, so it's saying home right now. And currently I've built a cardboard base around it, but actually it's kind of obstructing the up and down button. So sometimes the up and down might work, sometimes it won't. So, but for this demo, I, I'm only using the left and right, so it's okay. All right, so if I go left, then there we go. It goes back to home again. And then if I go to right, then it works. There we go. So left, right, and then you can just go crazy all around and then it prints it. There we go, that worked. All right, so let's get started on the next program. So let me get out of this terminal and the next program I called pongjoystick.py because we're gonna be creating a pong game and then controlling it with the joystick. So as you can see, there's already some code for a game and I just downloaded a GitHub repository for a single player Python based pong game. But the difference is, is that this Pong game is controlled by the arrow keys, so left and right. But I want, to con I want to change that so that it's controlled by the joystick. And if you want to download this um, game, this Python-based game, then I'll put the link in the description below. And if you want the full code to this video, link in the description below also. So the first thing we want to do is import our modules. So it's going to be the same modules as before, except we're going to add one more. So first, we'll just import time like before. And we will also import our, oh, no, we don't want that slash. OK, and then we'll also import the PCF8591 so that we can get the inputs, not PDF, PCF8591. And then the last module we'll need to import is Pygame. And Pygame is a module to make Python-based games, and we're going to use it to make the Pong game. So the next thing is setup. The setup is exactly the same as our print, um, as our print program. Sorry. So I'm just going to copy the same. I'm just going to copy the same code here. Actually, not the loop though. So just this direction function and the setup function. So here, we're just gonna copy that and then paste it in our setup. All right, so now that we have the setup, we just need to add one last thing. Since our program, since this game program, it doesn't have a if name equals main at the end. So we're just gonna call our setup function right here. So we're gonna call it here and then we're just gonna initialize i as zero. And then there we go. Now we've connected the, we've set up the joystick, but we actually need to tell the program, we need to tell the game that, hey, this joystick is going to control the paddle. So I'm going to go back into the game's code. So this main loop, in this while not done loop, we have our for loop. And what this code is doing inside of the while not done right here 
This is just telling the game that we're using the arrow keys to control the paddle. And since I don't want that, I'm just going to comment that out. And then we can write our own and then we can write our own code so that it's controlled by the the joystick. Okay, so I'm just going to copy some of the things from the other pro program, such as the status variable, we want to keep that. So the status variable will have we'll just initialize it now and then change it later. And then also the TMP variable, that will be the direction, we'll just call the direction function, just like before. And then again, we'll have our if command. I just copied it from the code before. We'll have our if command saying if TMP is not equal to none and if it's not equal to status, then now you could print the TMP, but I don't want to because we're doing a Pong game here. So now, we're going to have status equal to TMP. And then here's where it goes, here's where it's different. Now I want to make I want to make two if commands. One for if it's going left, one for if we're moving the joystick left, and one for if it's right. And if it's left, then we want the paddle to go left. And if it's right, we want it to go right. So how I can do that, status is equal to TMP now. So status is basically the direction. So I can make an if command here. So if status equals to left, left is one of our directions here. So I can use that and actually correct syntax. We need a colon here. Let me scroll down and let me make it bigger so that you guys can see. Oh, no, not that big. Okay, there, that's good. So if status is left, then we want to move the paddle left. So the Based on what type of program you use, the variable is going to be different for the paddle. But for this program, if you're using this Pygame program, then the variable for the paddle is called rect change x. So rect change x. And this is the paddle's x coordinate. And since we're moving it horizontally left and right, that's why we're going to use the rect change x. And you, if you're moving up and down, then you can use the rect change y so that it changes the y coordinate. So we're going to change this by, we want it to go to the left. So I'm going to make it go negative six pixels, which means it goes six pixels to the left, and then the exact opposite for the right. So now we have an if command saying if the status of the joystick is left, which means if our finger is making it point left, then we want the paddle to go left. So we're changing that x coordinate by negative six, which is minus six pixels. And then let's just copy that and paste it here. Uh, wait, this is wrong indentation here. Okay, so this time we want it to be right. So let's change that to right. So if the status is right this time, then we want it to change by positive six. So it'll go to the right, six pixels. And there we go. That's all you'll need to do in order to connect the Pi game module and our Pong game to the joystick. So let's test this out. All right, so let's, oh, actually, wait, I forgot about something. So the PCF8591, we want to import it as ADC because that's what we mentioned in the code. So I totally forgot about that. All right, so now let's run the code. So I'm gonna go to terminal and here we go, Python3 pong joystick.py. And let me start recording here. All right, there we go. Sorry if it's a little blurry. I mean, uh, sorry if it's a little shaky. Okay, so let's press enter, and there we go. So here's our Pong game. Let me just bring it over here. And there we go, we have it working. And now if I move this left, then there we go. The paddle's moving, so here we go. If I move the paddle, it, sometimes it gets stuck. All right, let me just, oh, nope, it's back. Yeah, it's a little slow. Okay, so look, if I move it left, left, why isn't it, okay, there. There we go, that works. And the score even changes if I touch the ball. There we go. All right, and if we press Control C, then it quits. There we go, this program worked. We've successfully created a Pong game, and it's a little slow now, but if you attach some other modules, then it can become really fast. And we've also created a, a little game console, and our Pong game is being controlled by a joystick. Nice.
So this was a very simple and a fun integration of the Raspberry Pi module called the joystick, and we implemented it with the Pong game. And we also made another program to print whatever direction the joystick is in. Now you can always extend the functionality of this and connect it with any other type of game. The possibilities are endless with the joystick. And I might be making future videos with the joystick, so stay tuned for those. And also, today's video, the Pong game was very laggy and it was very slow, but there are things you can do to make it faster and less laggy. Like for example, instead of remoting into the Raspberry Pi, you can connect it straight to a monitor and that should help the frame rates and the lag. Thanks very much for watching. If y'all had any notes, please comment down below. I would love to help you out if you're stuck with any Raspberry Pi joystick questions or issues. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Until then, you can learn anything.